try to mold it this way. So I read this and I thought, mm -hmm -hmm. that's what I thought. And all these protests I've been at lately and the people uniting. And there's a joy in that uniting and a joy in saying, I won't be beaten down. Whatever is happening, I won't be beaten down. So I'd like to finish uh, by reading this Maya Angelou poem, which some of you may know. Called, Still I Rise. You may write me down in history with your bitter, twisted lies. You may trod me in the very dirt, but still, like dust, I'll rise. Does my sassiness upset you? Why are you beset with gloom? Because I walk like I've got oil wells pumping in my living room. <laughs> just like moons and like suns, with the certainty of tides, just like hopes springing high, still I'll rise. Do you want to see me broken, bowed head and lowered eyes, shoulders falling down like teardrops, weakened by my soulful cries? Does my haughtiness offend you? Don't you take it awful hard, cause I laugh like I've got gold mines digging in my own backyard. Mm -hmm. You may shoot me with your words, you may cut me with your eyes, you may kill me with your hatefulness, but still, like air, I'll rise. Does my sexiness upset you? Does it come as a surprise that I dance like I've got diamonds at the meeting of my thighs? <laughs> Out of the huts of history's shame, I rise. Up from a past that's rooted in pain, I rise. I'm a black ocean, leaping and wide, welling and swelling, I bear in the tide. Leaving behind nights of terror and fear, I rise. Into a daybreak that's wondrously clear, I rise. Bringing the gifts that my ancestors gave, the dreams and the hopes of the slaves, I rise, I rise, I rise. <coughs> so, let's rise. Sit together and rise together. May all beings be happy, may they be joyous and live in safety. Thank you very much. Thank you, John. If anyone would like to bring up any uh, questions right now, we will have an opportunity upstairs with tea. But if anyone would like to uh, contribute anything, throw a word in, feel free to come. Well, um I'm, I'm from the Catholic tradition, and I notice a lot of people, you know, at our church, and we're the Most Holy Redeemer, are very depressed over the, you know, Proposition 8 thing, particularly the role, unfortunately, that our church kind of played in, you know, kind of fostering the yes on 8 thing. And I'm just, I mean, I find myself kind of in, kind of in the funk, even though I'm not in a relationship and I'm not planning to get married any time <clears throat> soon. But um, I'm just wondering what, you know, I mean... I appreciate what you said about, you know, rising, you know, and, you know, joy and stuff. But I, I guess it's it's hard at the moment to see where the joy in that is. And, and I don't know, I don't know if you have any thoughts on that. Right, or right. Yeah, I know it's, uh, it's easy to say, isn't it? Oh, yeah. let's all rise yeah. with joy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Together we can win. <clears throat> yes, I too, even though I have no desire to be married or being a couple even. Um, I too felt very badly, it affected me badly when uh, we lost the rights that we had just won. And then I think of, you know, the story of the Buddha, where they tell the story where um, the uh, army comes and they uh, start to destroy the Buddha's hometown. Mm -hmm. And he sits by the side of the road and sits Zazen and watches them all go by because he knew that as one person he couldn't do anything anyway. So saying that we um, would like to cultivate joy and uh, 
joy and loving kindness doesn't mean that it's going to arise in everything. Mm. The joy that I experience along with the pain, remember one's sitting at your table while the other one's lying in your bed. So mm. the joy that I appreciated with the pain of the, the um, Proposition 8 was actually the joy of joining in with everybody. Mm. Um, and I have an enormous, enormous appreciation for what's going on here. I think the fact that no one, prop, uh, that the Prop 8 was uh, passed was actually great because it's bringing us all together. Mm -hmm. And it's bringing us out of, the, out of the corners, out of the little dark corners, um, and uniting us. And that day when we had a nationwide, mm -hmm. uh, and was it perhaps even international? Um, mm -hmm. International Day, yes, it was because I saw it um, <coughs> from London too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's not that our circumstances will, you know, immediately change, <coughs> but the joy I found was in the connection mm -hmm. and in pursuing it with other people. And to be honest, for all the awful things that happened to us queer people here in uh, America, still, I've been overjoyed. I've had. I've been in tears of joy in, just in these last few months, going to City Hall, for, although it was sad that Del Martin died, it was a joyous occasion. And to grow up in Scotland, and be, even when I had hair, I, I could never <laughs> pass for straight. And I was always being beaten up. So to come up from that, to go and stand in City Hall, when it's a big celebration for the life of Del Martin, or I went also for the night they unveiled the statue of Harvey mm. Milk, and we all cried with joy. So I'm not Pollyanna, and I'm not saying, oh, if you just do this, it'll all be joy. No. But there is the pain, and there's the joy with it. So that, that was where I found it. Mm. Thank you. Mm. Yeah, it, it's a hard one to share with people mm. because sometimes you sound like you're saying you should be grateful. So I think it's a, an idea that you can maybe plant and share with people yeah. but it can only come from inside yeah. out. To be told to be grateful is so annoying. But <laughs> I know what you mean. Mm. You know, I, I too, when uh, during Zazen and I was looking at this and I thought Miracles. Talk about miracles. Look at that board right there. You know, that board was once a tree, and all, and it reminded me of Thich Nhat Hanh. You know, here, here's the, uh, here's the whole universe. Mm -hmm. Wow, how is that the whole universe? Oh well, it took the sun, it took all the planets, and so forth, and so on. So, um, yeah, it has to come from the inside out, though, so that it's a, a genuine feeling. No, oh, I, yes, I'm grateful. It's like working with homeless people. And, Someone uh, said to me, I said, oh, I took such and such a kind of food, and my folks didn't want it. And they were like, they didn't want it. They should be grateful for anything they get. I said, well, why? <laughs> Would you? If I put pork down in front of you and you're vegetarian, are you going to tell me you're grateful? I don't think so. You know, so it's that that you should be grateful. That's the But as, you, as, as one gets to be more skillful about it, one should... Yes. <laughs> I feel grateful that they said that to me, even though I disagree, because it's reminded me of the value and importance of this, and isn't that wonderful that this has occurred? Yes. Mm. Do, should we stop? And How are we doing? Head upstairs. 27. 27 minutes past. Yeah, it would be good if we continued okay. upstairs. And also, I forgot a ritual that we have, which is to go around here and give our names. You can do it now. So. <laughs> we can do it now. My name is Gregory. I'm Errol. And Steve, Bill, Donald, Brian, Stephen, Albert, Bill, Brian, Brian, Lee, yes, John. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. You know, this that you asked me what brings me the joy is being here. Thank you. So thank you. So shall we take the refuge? I take refuge in the Buddha. I take refuge in the Dharma. I take refuge in the Sangha. I take refuge in the Buddha. I take refuge in the Dharma. I take refuge in the Sangha. I take refuge in the Buddha. I take refuge in the Dharma. 
Son. Amen.